How smart was T-Rex? And what can new scientific data tell us about the way dinosaurs' brains worked? New paleontological research has come out providing theories on just how intelligent these animals were and how our thinking on the science could change over time. Now, in the Jurassic Park movies, Velociraptor is typically shown to be the smartest of these cloned dinosaurs, but newer material suggests that not only was the T-Rex smarter, but it may have even been able to form some sort of unique social behavior compared to what we used to believe. And at this point, they are even being called the quote, primates of their time, which I'm sure gets Dr. Grant from Jurassic Park 3 a lot to think about. Tyrannosaurus rex had numbers of brain neurons similar to that of a baboon, making some scientists believe that it may have even had the capacity to do a great many things previously thought unlikely, to say the least, and even live up to 40 years old, which might help support that 70% bigger growth theory we heard a little while back, if the information ends up being 100% sound. But what about other dinosaurs? in the Jurassic Park franchise, like, say, its big rival, the Spinosaurus. When it comes to these science fiction animals, how much was real for their intelligence and how much was made up? What was the biggest and smartest dinosaur in the Jurassic Park franchise and fossil record in general? What's going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about a new paleontological study involving the Spinosaur family. Apparently there was a scan or a group of scans done on some of the fossilized material from these dinosaurs that could help tell us some stuff about their brains and how they would have behaved in real life compared to other animals. And the idea of learning more about that, especially after newer T-Rex brain studies have come out about the animal being intelligent to something to of a degree to like a baboon, well, it was really interesting to me whether or not it's true or not, especially in comparison to some of this new information that dives into the Spinosaur creatures. Now, just for the sake of context, the Tyrannosaur level of intelligence that I was talking about comes from a newer study that suggests that the dinosaurs may have been the primates of their time. And just like every other bit of paleontological information that has come out over the last very long time. It's something that's gotten a lot of people talking. I started to read some of it, but when somebody mentioned that the animals may have been intelligent enough to have used tools and developed culture, I just laughed. And look, I do know that the T-Rex was a very intelligent animal, that's fact. But the whole way that science was framed was pretty wild in the articles, especially because most of paleontology, like I've said before in the past, is a lot of guesswork. Not saying there's no good stuff in that research, it's just that I'm not a paleontologist and I'm literally just going over what's in the dinosaur dinosaur brain articles today and it made me laugh but uh yeah just an fyi so the first article I want to go over is called What Was Going On Inside of the Spinosaurus Brain by Laura Basis. It looks like it was published on Valentine's Day and it basically says that scientists digitally remastered the brains of two enormous river monsters to try and find out what was going on inside of the animals' heads. So around 125 million years ago, Spinosaurus were a genus of theropod. These unusual 13 to 22 ton dinosaurs were known for their long crocodile-like jaws and cone-shaped teeth. They stalked riverbanks, preying on large fish, and lived a different lifestyle than more familiar theropods, such as Allosaurus and T-Rex. Some Spinosaur species include Spinosaurus aegypticus, which we all know from Jurassic Park 3, and Spinosaurus marocanus, when many other specimens that have been found in Northern Africa. Now, I've been quoting the article so far, but they also go on to say that we still don't know much about the Spinosaurs in general, but an international team of scientists have reconstructed the brains and inner ears of two Spinosaur specimens found in England. And the studies were apparently published a day earlier on February 13th. Looks like what they did was scanned fossils of two different theropod species. They found a Baryonyx in Surrey, and then in southern England, a Sarasucops, which was found on the Isle of Wight. Baryonyx is a 32 foot long animal and bore the same crocodile-like mouth, while Ceratosucops has been nicknamed the Hell Heron and was about 27 feet long. The article says that these dinosaurs were special because they are two of the oldest Spinosaur fossils that contain the dinosaur's brain case material, which is kind of important if you're gonna be scanning that and looking inside. But it looks like the scientists were actually able to reconstruct some of the internal soft brain tissues that rotted away over time, and they found that the olfactory bulbs, which are responsible for processing smells, they're not exactly developed that well, so that's interesting to know. The ears were likely attuned to picking up low-frequency sounds, which I guess, just as someone that's not a paleontologist throwing it out there, might 
work really well for a creature that's underwater, but I could be wrong. They also found out that the parts of the brain that keep the head stable and eyes fixed on prey were possibly less developed than they were in more specialized spinosaurs that evolved later on. Now we actually have a quote from Chris Barker, a PhD student at the University of Southampton and co-author in the statement. And he says, quote, despite their unusual ecology, it seems the brains and senses of these early spinosaurs retained many aspects in common with other large bodied theropods. There's no evidence that their semi-aquatic lifestyles are reflected in the way their brains are organized. So I guess I was wrong about the low frequency being something they'd need if they were underwater. Now the article goes on to share another quote that says, because the skulls of all spinosaurs are so specialized for fish catching, it's surprising to see such non-specialized brains. This comes from the University of Southampton's paleontologist and co-author Darren Nash. He continued saying, but the results are still significant. It's exciting to get so much information on sensory abilities, on hearing, sense of smell, balance, and so on from British dinosaurs. Using cutting edge technology, we basically obtained all the brain related information we possibly could from these fossils. Which I guess one of them actually was of the brain case of the Cretaceous era Ceratosuchops, and a model of its brain is going to be on display alongside its bones at Dinosaur Isle Museum on the Isle of Wight. Another quote comes from co-author Lawrence M. Whitmer, who is the professor of anatomy at the Ohio University Heritage College of Osteopathic Medicine. And he says, this new research is just the latest in what amounts to a revolution in paleontology due to advances in CT-based imaging of fossils. We're now in a position to be able to assess the cognitive and sensory capabilities of extinct animals and explore how the brain evolved in behaviorally extreme dinosaurs like Spinosaurs. Which takes me all the way back to Jurassic Park 3 where Billy got that 3D resonating chamber and started to blow through it. Don't think anything like that's going to happen anytime soon, but it is pretty cool to see science like this unfolding, especially like I said earlier because of that Tyrannosaur research that I don't know much about that just yet, but the fact that that creature could be as smart as a baboon or primate, that's kind of wild, if true. Now, there is another article here that details a little bit more information that basically says, researchers reveal evolution of the oldest Spinosaur brains. This is from The Ohio University. They go over Lawrence M. Whitner and Ryan Ridgely's work, which is specifically focused on their research efforts and contributed information on baryonics, which is one of the species of Spinosaurs highlighted in the study. The article also goes on to say that the most famous Spinosaur is Spinosaurus itself, a 45-foot-long sailback giant that was one of the stars of Jurassic Park 3. Correction article, it was the star of Jurassic Park 3. This article mentions that Whitmer and Ridgely have been working on brain evolution for over 20 years, by the way. Currently, these researchers have gotten a major new grant from the Swedish Research Council to study the evolution of the brain and cognition with collaborators in Sweden, Scotland, and Czech Republic. That's pretty nifty. Bottom line, it looks like Spinosaurus brain cases aren't exactly that different or not as different as you would think comparatively to other theropod dinosaurs. In fact, I think that the takeaway from this is that they actually don't show much of a development for the olfactory bulbs which process smells. It's also weird that they said that the ears weren't they were focused in on low frequencies, but that had nothing to do with the semi-aquatic lifestyle. In fact, nothing was really reflective of that in the way their brains were organized and they were kind of just, they retained so many aspects in common with other large body theropods that there's really not much of a difference, which is very interesting to me. Basically, Spinosaurs like Baryonyx and Sarasuchops were kind of just normal brained animals, normal brained dinosaurs compared to other animals that we would have known of in the theropod uh, group. But that's kind of wild, but it's not exactly the craziest thing I've ever heard and I will admit when you get to the research of something like a tyrannosaurs intelligence or maybe the intelligence of one of the other dinosaurs or prehistoric animals from the past that seems to be much more interesting because those creatures were way more advanced or something we don't know everything obviously but all of these research I've seen people talk about research of T-Rex intelligence for years and of course because of the Jurassic Park movies everybody thinks that raptors are really really smart but yeah it's just some interesting information to go back between these really old Spinosaur specimens and look at the inside of their brains and see how they worked. It is very interesting to see that even though these animals are obviously specialized for catching fish, that their brains don't really have any specialization acquitted to that. I guess it's just dinosaur, you got what you need, you don't need to be that smart, but hey, that's just what I'm taking away from this. Now, when I was growing up, we always kind of knew that Tyrannosaurus rex was one of the smartest dinosaurs 
from the Fossil Record, with only Troodon being believed to beat it out. At least, that's what a lot of the old books from the 90s and 2000s used to say. So I'm not really opposed to the ideas that it could have solved problems during a hunt, or even had a more complex social dynamic. So, as far as this new information on T-Rex is concerned, which I want to say I'm not exactly like, you know, completely antagonistic to, it's just crazy, but if it were to be true and very sound, it would really revolutionize the way we look at the animal in a pretty big way. And I do find it funny that no matter what the information surrounding T-Rex always seems to be, like, it always makes it bigger, stronger, and smarter, and that's in relation to real-world research, whether it wind up being widely accepted or not. But in the Jurassic Park movies, it's always made out to be a pushover, so like, what gives? <laughs> this information on the Spinosaur species, on the other hand, is kind of way different, and yeah, just something to think about. In newer movies, it would be interesting to see them implement something like an incredibly smarter Tyrannosaurus Rex, or maybe even more Spinosaur brain research on the actual living animal for a new clone, whether it be something apart from a Baryonyx, maybe a Suchomimus, we already know that's on InGen's list. But this information is pretty cool, and I'm glad that a lot of it can be kind of put out there for not only paleontology fans, but we as Jurassic Park fans can kind of absorb this stuff and say, hey, wouldn't it be cool if they had like a lab scene showcase some of this research done for future plots? I think it would be anyways. Anyways guys, what are all of your thoughts on this research? What do you think of the intelligence of a Spinosaur comparative to other animals like T-Rex? And do you think this is interesting information to walk away from? Spinosaurus was probably not as smart as T-Rex from what we're gathering here, but who knows? Anyways, whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens and engine executives, as well as all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. You've all helped my channel immensely and I'm incredibly grateful for all of that support. Now I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video and hope that you enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you all consider subscribing. I'll see you all in the next video guys and as always, take it easy.